Today, I believe, was the biggest number that we've ever raised in the history of this ship, which it should be over $15,000. And now it's made possible by all of you and one very special guest somewhere in here, I'm not sure where he is. John matched the donations penny for penny and brought us from about 7,500 all the way up to 15,000 today. And I'm sure that number is gonna go up because we are going to be doing a very special auction on the last day. And we're gonna start that auction right now. So, who's gonna give me $150 to take this gentleman home with you? <laughs> too high, I see 200. 5,000 from the man at the back there, okay. All right, let's, um, let's uh, sort of talk a little bit about why we're here because this is a special time and it's a, a journey of celebration of, of a little bit of sadness, a little bit of a look back, but I thought it would be really nice if we introduce you to the people who've been here for a long time and some of them staying for that very special end of uh, the life of this ship and it really is exactly that. Um, and the people behind the scenes who are really have really worked so hard and will continue to do so. Um, I'd like to, uh, f uh, I was going to start with the captain, but I'm going to finish with the captain if I may. Um, we'll start with, uh, if you want to pass the microphone down, because I just blew a raspberry into this mic. I'll do it, it's, it's so slow. <laughs> I would like um, each and every one of them to introduce themselves. Um, I'd like you to tell everybody uh, your position on board, how long you've worked for Carnival Cruise Line, and then um, I'll ask a, a question of each and every one of you. And then at the end of this, we'll turn the, uh, the microphone over for a few questions from the audience as well. All right, let's start with this wonderful gentleman who's gonna Good stand up and stand, yes, okay. There we go. Good afternoon to everyone. My name is Grosdan. I am the environmental officer on board Carnival uh, Exclusive. And you're from? I am from Bulgaria. It's Bulgaria. a small country in the Europe, Eastern <laughs> Europe. Yeah. Working for Carnival for eight years. Yeah. For eight years. Now, uh, no, keep the microphone because you get your question. Um, being the environmental officer on board, of course, is, is so important. We have one on every single ship, and we'd need like 10 hours for you to tell everything about your job. But if you could put your position and how important it is into a minute, how would you describe what your job is on board as environmental officer? Well, shortly we are making sure that uh, the ship is in compliance with all the regulations that we are go, all the countries that we are go. Yes, that was less than a, that was a Bulgarian minute. And uh, are you staying on board for the journey to Turkey? Um, no, no. Actually, I have a reliever on board, and I'm handing over to him. I'm going to another ship. I'm going to Radiance. Uh, Radiance. Yes. There are some people very happy. Uh, environmental compliance is our number one priority. We have to protect these beautiful oceans and everything that lives in them. And that's the job this gentleman does. So let's give him a big round of applause, our environmental officer. If you have questions, we can do that in a minute. Pass the microphone down. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, I'm Francois, I'm the entertainment director on board. I'm from South Africa, and I'm just under 10 years with the company now. <laughs> So obviously, uh, you and your, the majority of your department won't be staying on board. Yes. One of the questions we get asked a lot is what are they all going to do? And it's obviously different things for different people. But I'd like to talk about um, the, the dancers, singers. Um, they've been a cast. So what's happening to them? So the cast, um, they usually come together for a contract. After that, they usually get to go on vacation then they get to bid for the next contract and then they'll go to studios and meet up with a new cast and they'll be there for about two two months and then they come to a ship and install the shows there for y'all. Um, um, one last question, because I uh, promised I would ask this. What's happening to all the costumes? <laughs> some of them we won't be able to really use again because <laughs> they've been, some of them I think is as old as the ship, but <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so most of them will be going back to the studio, and if they are usable, they'll be sent to the new ships if that show is on those particular ships. And I know we also give a lot to dance schools as well. Yes, we and also get a lot is donated also. People, yeah, that we donate a lot of the costumes to uh, children's organizations across the United States. Yeah. Um, nothing wrong with old stuff. I'm wearing the same pair of underwear I wore in 1992 <laughs> when I was cruise director. There's nothing wrong with that. That's your entertainment director. Thank you. Pass the microphone. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Pascual, I come all the way from Peru. I'm the Food Operations Manager on board. Uh, worked with Carnival for the last 18 years. Now. 18? Yes. 18 years. 18 Pasquale. years. I'm a teenager now. So, Pascual, we know obviously, and we'll talk more with the captain about this in a moment, that there are going to be some people that are going to be staying on board. And the hotel director was telling me, I think it's 90, five, 90, 100, about 100 crew members will remain on board. Are you staying? And if so, who else is staying from your department and why are they staying on board? I'm not staying with sadly for me. Uh, for my department are 16 assigned for this crossing. I have my assistant, direct assistant, the chef and the store manager leading the team and a few galley attendants. So, and they'll be obviously cooking meals and of preparing course. for the for the, for the the 100 crew. Yes. Um, and all the food that is left over is going to be what taken off the ship well my chef is currently working on it tomorrow yeah. we're meeting so basically we need your help we don't want to waste food so <laughs> for goodness sake eat more what's wrong with you order 20 lobster oh, we don't do lobster on five days do we okay order 20 chocolate melting cakes is that all right chef if we do that yeah why not why not <laughs> why not our food operations manager 18 years with the company, down we go. Hi, good afternoon everybody. My name is Suhas, I'm the beverage operation manager on board. <laughs> oh, look at Where? that, yes. Where's the party? We I'm found there. their level. <laughs> go ahead. I'm working with Carnival for the last 28 years. <laughs> and what, what did you start as? What was your first position? Uh, First position, I started in the galley as a cook, and from there I was promoted to supervisor, and then to management. And today I am here in front of you. Wonderful. Are you staying on board? Uh, no, I'm not staying. Um, I'm going to hand over to our hotel director. He's going to take over. You're going to give him the keys to the bars? <laughs> I think. I don't have a choice. We need to talk stay. about that. We, yeah. we need to have a chat about that. So I'll be getting off and my team, uh, when the ship is in Miami, and from there he will take over. And your team of the bar staff will go to other ships, some on vacation, is that right? Yes, most of them are on board since we start this ship. So they have a nice contract and thanks for all of you for a wonderful time we had. Thank you. And some of them who sign on middle of the contract, they are going to go for different ships to wow. finish their contract. Yes. Very good. Well, thank you for all your service and thank you uh, for up to now the making no mistakes, apart from giving the keys to the hotel director. We'll about that. Thank you. Thank you. A big round of applause thank for you. the beverage operations manager. And hey, we have three days from Mobile to Miami after y'all get off the ship and we get to drink whatever you leave behind, so eat more, drink less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, go on. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Again, welcome to the XOC, oh, no, which should be the best cruise ever. My name is Sammy, I'm from Jamaica. I've been with Carnival for almost 35 years. I <laughs> Thirty-five years of fun, I should say. Mm. So they kind of double it. <laughs> Sammy, are you staying? Yes, I'm staying. You're staying. Now, Sammy, um, you and I have known each other. We've worked both for thirty-five years for the same uh, company, uh, doing the same thing, uh, working with the same people. I haven't seen you for a few years, and you still look. Look at that smile. Look at it. It's. So, <laughs> You've melted many a heart over the years, Sammy. 
Um, you've been on this ship quite some time, haven't you? You've done a few contracts on here over the years. Yes, I mean, I think I got here when it was just about a year. Yeah. And then I spent quite a, quite a few years back so, and forth on the so ship. So how are you going to feel when you get to Turkey and you walk away and you see the ship sitting there? Could you describe how you think you'll feel? You know, I've thought about it, John, and uh, to be honest, I think she'll always be with me. She'll always be with you. <laughs> Deo! Deo! I come and we wanna go home. That's enough. <laughs> Thank you, Samuel. Thank you. Pass the microphone, ignore the captain. And now, here he is, the trainee beverage operations yes. manager. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mladen. I'm the hotel director on board Carnival Ecstasy. Um, I have the privilege to work with Kano for over 10 years, uh, as, as of now, next year so I'm going to turn 11, and I come all the way from Macedonia, Europe. It's a tinier country than Bulgaria. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? You want to say That's it. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm very happy for I'm going to be an acting bar manager. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know about that. You didn't know you were no. getting the keys? No, I'm very excited. You're getting now. the keys to the bar and you're getting the keys to the dressing room. So all those oh. dresses you've been wanting to wear. Oh my God. I'm you can put them on now. Moves. So yeah, this is really good. <laughs> So, um, who better to tell us a little bit about um, the journey to Turkey than you, as far as what's going to happen, as far as the crew are concerned, what will they be spending their time doing, and also if you can, um, a lot of people ask me about what is staying on board the ship, what the shipyard that is taking the ship has actually um, paid for. So, can you maybe just go into that yeah. a little bit? So basically the shipyard had bought the ship uh, itself, right? Uh, on exceptions that they allow us to take off the ship that something is being marked with Carnival logo or it's a value of Carnival background, they allow us to take off the ship. So for example, if we have any speakers that will remain, if we have anything that is locked with Carnival, it's gonna go off the ship. Like we have that beautiful motorbike on the promenade, it's gonna go because that's part of artwork from the ship so they allow us to take that uh, the journey to turkey i know captain is going to touch base on that but uh, it's going to be a uh, almost 16 17 days at sea we're going to be doing the same what we do we don't have a guest but we will have also activities that you know we're going to keep ourselves busy like we did when we had before during the pandemic uh, we were almost the same number so we do have gatherings, we meet uh, during the lunch, breakfast, dinner. Uh, we have also, you know, uh, activities that keep us moving up. I know that the job, it might not be the same like on the other ships that we don't have to go further, but uh, to the extent that we're gonna still be, you know, providing service to the crew, you know, we're gonna serve food, we're gonna have open the bar, you know, we'll have security as well. So everything will remain the same like we had before on the pandemic, but without the guest. Uh, it's gonna be quite a journey. Excuse me sitting down, my knees are collapsing. Yeah. Um, I think it would be a, a very emotional experience. And I do wanna say, maybe you can talk with the captain, let the crew fish. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. 16 days at sea, stick a rod overboard, the environmental officer will be okay with that. Yeah, off the record, fish. I, I bought a fishing rod. Yeah, bring the fishing yeah, rod, just it. send us pictures. <laughs> Thank you, we're yes. very proud of you. Yes, I know you're it's going to be yes. a wonderful Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. You can stand up. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Hi, John. Hi, Ronel. Hi, John. Tell everybody who you are. Hi, my name is Ronel. I'm the guest services manager. I'm from South Africa and I've been 13 years with the company. And another wonderful example of promoting within because you started as? A GSA, guest services associate. So she's gone all the way through to one of our 
uh, most trusted and senior guest services managers and we are very proud of her. Are you staying on board? Yes, I you am. You are. I'll now, a lot of people through. will probably say, why does a guest services manager need to stay on board when there are no guests? But there is another side to the story of what people imagine a guest services manager does because the clearance, the all the different paperwork, and maybe you can explain a little bit about what that entails. Yes, so going over, we still need paperwork uh, upon arrival, so we still need to submit that. Also in the different ports, we are also submitting paperwork as well, so it's always important to submit these documents in order for us to be cleared to dock. It's going to be 16 days, and then are uh, you going on vacation after that? Um, let's see, either vacation or vessel transfer, I'm not sure yet. Okay, yeah. well I hope I hope you know how much you uh, are appreciated by your team and by everybody yeah, out yes. here. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. And... There you go. Hey John. Hello guys, how are you? My name is Marco, uh, staff captain. I'm assisting the captain in his uh, daily duty in terms of uh, safety and security. and. I'm happy guys you are here and having a good time. 18 years with the company. My first ship was a Carnival Celebration, which retired too, so... And uh, let's see, now it's time for ecstasy to retire. Yes. I believe uh, I will hold uh, Captain hands until the end. You hold his hand. Yeah. Now, the staff captain is uh, a, a position that is really never in the spotlight. The spotlight always goes deservedly to the captain chief engineer but a ship is only as good as the staff captain as a captain once said to me um, could you tell us a little bit about the what a staff captain and the, the general sailing of a ship what your job is all about yes we uh, I'm in charge let's say in uh, overall of the safety what comes to everything in of uh, LSA lifeboat life raft your personal uh, safety also i supervise uh, the security team chief security assistants and we have uh, a group of uh, 12 security guard i believe you see all around the ship keep uh, always the situation under control and then uh, monitoring also supervising uh, the officer on the bridge on the day do uh, let's say their daily works also uh, in charge of, uh, I'm uh, head department of deck department and uh, supervising the general maintenance and general condition of what you see of the carnival ecstasy. I hope you had a great impression of how it looks Well, from I, I have to say, and I, I'm going to name drop here and I hate to do that, but I was talking uh, just this morning or messaging with the chairman of Carnival, Car uh, carnival Corporation telling him how many people have come up to me and said why are we selling the ship she may be 35 years old but she looks fabulous she's in such yeah. wonderful condition yeah. and thank you very much thank you. It's many people really involved in that and marco is at the top of that list so as i say in italy I'm gonna, do you mind if i just uh, speak italian with him for a little bit thank you very much for everything <laughs> that you have you done. thank you Grazie mille, grazie. Importante seconda, grazie. Ciao. Hello everyone. My name is Antonio. Hi everyone. Okay. Uh, I am a staff chief engineer. Uh, I am with the Carnival since uh, 2006. 15 years, 16 years. Uh, Woo! So happy to see you here. And I'm so I'm so sad that I will uh, bring the second ship of Carnival to to the scrapyard. The first one was uh, Fantasy. So I can tell you that was uh, really, before you ask, I can tell you, is uh, even if it's a piece of metal, part of your uh, emotion is going with her. But as, uh, as uh, our housekeeping manager say, uh, she will be always with us. Yeah. So. Antonio, I couldn't have said it better. That's, that's wonderful. You've done this so you know what's going to happen. How many of the engineering department will be staying on the ship? They will stay, uh, we will stay like uh, 24, 25, the minimum uh, required manning, to, yeah. to manning the uh, engine room, which is uh, until the end will be on, everything will be on, uh, even for our uh, small group of uh, crew. 
uh, air condition, toilet, uh, uh, galleys, bar, and so on. And um, <laughs> mainly the engine running. So, <laughs> so uh, if if you uh, if you ever want to meet a group of people who are never ever 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 in the spotlight, I mean they very rarely come out from. Uh, the engine room, they sleep on a hammock tied between the engines. Um, but in all seriousness, the engineers on the ship, without them, we would go nowhere. So to uh, Chief Engineer and uh, Staff Chief Thank Engineer you. and the team, grazie, grazie, grazie. Thank you, Lord. Forza Napoli, grazie. Hey, everyone. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, hold on, hold on, real quick, real quick. Can I get a big hey, Alex? Thanks, everyone. So you're uh, not staying, I take it. Oh, God, no. Tell them where you're going. Um, so I have been lucky enough to be the cruise director here since the second cruise back in operation. I've been on board since February 5th. Um, I had a quick little three-week break at home. But other than that, this has been my home for the past almost nine months, everyone. Um, after this... I have so many familiar faces in here. It's great to see so many of you again. When we are done here, I'll be getting off the ship uh, in Miami on the 18th, and then I begin the very long journey home to Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> uh, and I'll be off until January 3rd when I'm joining the Radiance out in Long Beach. I'll be there for a couple months, and then I'll be going over to the Legend of Maryland starting in March. I'll be there for a couple months. Yeah. And I've been with Carnival since 2015, so about seven and a half years now. And we thank you so much. You're doing a wonderful job. I so proud of you, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Captain, if you'd like to start, I'm just, I have to film this bit because the questions I'm going to give you, the answers are going to need to be seen by all the people on my page. So I have to walk down here. Sorry. I'm going to get somebody to film this for me. Hello, where are you from? Birmingham. Oh God, I love you better do it then. So you just film this. So, okay, there you go. Do you know how to do it? You've got one, right? So just do it that way and press, when I give you a subtle nod, just press the video thing. Can you do that? You want her to do it? Yeah, yes. <laughs> hmm? Oh, you've got a t-shirt with my picture on. Have you seen me, it says. Yes. I was in Birmingham. This is an absolute true sorry captain. True story, I'll be really quick. I was sitting in I was sitting in a restaurant and um, with my friend and I said, This is nice place. It's we have a place in England called Birmingham and he said, You don't pronounce it like that, you say Birmingham Birmingham I said, No, it's Birmingham and he said, No, it's Birmingham. Yeah, like that. I said, we argued, Birmingham, Birmingham. So I said, hold on. This is absolutely true. I said, let me ask somebody that works here. And I walked over and I said, can you pronounce the place where we are? And she went, Burger King. <laughs> is this for me? No. Are we ready? All right. I'll give you a subtle nod when I'm ready. Yeah, man. Me have a knack and dig, you know. Subtle nod, and you press play, okay? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Tell everybody who you are, how long you've been with the company, and we'll go from there. Good afternoon all, first of all. Good afternoon. I'm uh, the captain of the ship. <laughs> I'm working with Carnival since uh, 2001, so it's over uh, 20 years that I'm working here. And uh, I'm from Italy. I live in a little uh, town in southwest coast of Italy that is called Sorrento. <laughs> Sorrento. So, Captain, um, you have the, I don't know what the right word, normally we'd say the honor, the privilege, which it is, but it's also 
such an emotional finish to the ship. And probably the question that everybody wants to know is, what are you going to do? What happens to the ship? Where do you put it? And how does it all work? Because what you're about to do, I would imagine, is foreign to any training that you've ever had. So could you just explain to everybody that um, in 16 or 20 days time, what you'll be doing? Well, we will be leaving from uh, Mobile on the 15, bound to Miami, where we're gonna stay three days. And then from Miami, we will be leaving on the 20. And uh, we plan to arrive at the final destination that is in Turkey, uh, Aliaga is called the place, on the 7th of uh, November. So we will be sailing with uh, slow speed. Uh, and uh, during these uh, 17 days, well, we will prepare everything that has to be prepared for the new buyer of the ship. So uh, in order for him that when he come on board, he gonna find uh, uh, everything properly uh, placed. We will arrive there on the 7th of November. Most probably we will stay one day at Anchor and the uh, following morning we will uh, proceed to uh, beach the ship. The practically it's not even really a beach because it's a, a slide made of a cement. It's not uh, an actual beach. We will, uh, that morning we will, uh, before to beach the ship, we will uh, disembark all the crew members. So, the uh, most of the crew members that are not uh, part of, uh, let's say, technical crew member will disembark uh, early morning, most probably around five, six o'clock in the morning, and we will remain only 20, 25 crew members that are uh, practically the person in charge uh, uh, to be on the bridge, and uh, obviously the engineer, because we will have to have uh, all the engine ready by the time we will have to beach the ship then once. The ship we will beach, we will have a local pilot as well coming on board. There will be a Turkish pilot that will be on board to make this last mile. And then uh, once we will uh, beach the ship, we will have still to uh, disconnect a few things uh, before then we will have uh, to be, we will disembark. Not sure yet if it will be by crane or if we will be able uh, to disembark uh, via a tender from uh, a shelter. So you're actually driving the ship, navigating the ship out of the water onto dry land. I mean, that's what's happening. What kind of speed do you do to do that? And that says, uh, according to the pilot, you know, it happened on the previous ship that uh, some pilot they request full speed, so they were going 15, 16 knots, while some other only seven to eight knots. Uh, mainly it's only uh, according to the weather condition. Yeah. If there is uh, more windy, the pilot is requesting more speed. In order to because the, the, the spot where we will have to beach the ship is uh, is not very big and there are ship on, on both side and uh, so it's uh, mainly according to the weather condition we're gonna find. Um, I'm not going to ask you how you're going how you feel now because I think that would be a bit premature because I'm sure it's going to be many emotions I hope that somebody on the bridge can hold the phone up and and because I, I think we should all experience this because we've said goodbye to her and even though there'll be a lot of tears I think some people would like to see the final goodbye so um, maybe we'll do that but I know I know how I know how hard it is to say goodbye but you'll be saying hello to another ship soon you'll be back and uh, we'll um, we'll have the fond memories of all of this but what's the date you'll be doing this should be the 8th of November so but, on the uh, 8th of November I'll confirm it so I let everybody know, but I think it would be nice if we all have a little thought for the crew members uh, and the captain and the engineers and the bridge officers as they <laughs> <I can, laughs> beach the ship. There you go, it's beach. I can't say it as well. As they beach this ship and the last time they did it, they took them off in a cherry picker. Um, and I, it's the emotions are going to be everywhere. So we're very proud of you, Captain. And to you and your crew, we wish you bon voyage on this last journey. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank much. you. Thank you. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. I'm, I'm coming down. I'm coming down. Oh, you've done it. All right. Thank you. Uh, my name is Don Walker. I'm from uh, Georgia, and I would just like. I, I thank God that I've been on this ship with these incredible crew. I, I really have. 
But I'd like to ask if if Carnival is not going to have a ship, you know, if they're going to do away with the with the ecstasy, why yes. are aren't they going to have a ship in Mobile for the next year? So um, the reason for that is they lost my suitcase. <laughs> And I said, you know what? You don't deserve a ship. I've been everywhere, everywhere. And what happens? Um, let me tell you, the future for the future for Mobile is very bright. There's going to be a slight pause. We need to. Uh, we have new ships coming. We have uh, five new ships with Luminosa, with Carnival Celebration, Carnival Jubilee, Venezia, Forenza. Um, so we're just moving some things around. But in, on the 6th of October next year, you will have Carnival Spirit making her home here in Alabama. Uh, she'll be doing what a lot of people from who cruise out of Mobile have been asking about, longer itineraries, new destinations. Um, you've got um, a lot of new features. Uh, plus, she's having a dry dock before, and we'll tell you more about that. So Mobile will definitely have a bright future. Carnival Spirit. And um, we are very excited to continue to cruise from here. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Afternoon, John. Hello. Hey, my name is Kevin. I actually don't have a question for you, but I do have an answer for two of your crew yes. members. I had the distinct honor of uh, decommissioning a U.S. carrier back in 1990, the U.S. Coral Sea. She was built right after World War II and actually served for over 50 years. My distinction on that was I was the second generation to serve aboard that ship. Wow. And it was an honor to decommission her. And she's been with my heart. So what would you say to the captain and the crew? How are they going to feel? They're going to miss it. They really are. They're going to miss the crew. They're going to miss the times that you had, good and bad. And um, no matter what, she'll be with you to the end. Because she's always with us. And just so, you know, they end up scrapping the Coral Sea also. Thank you, Captain. There you are. And thank you for your service. Thank you, thank you. Hello, I'm Diane from Gulfport, Mississippi. Hey. Hello. Hold, hold the microphone nice and close there. Okay. Hey. What's, uh, where are you from? Gulfport, Mississippi. You don't understand the words she's saying. I, I'm suddenly in a Dukes of Hazard episode here. I don't know. <laughs> Go, golf? Gulfport. Oh, Gulfport. Yes, Alabama. No, Mississippi. 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 Got it. Same okay. thing. Okay. No. That's, That's our neighbors. Sorry, I have to say, but sorry to interrupt you. Wow, some of you were mad at me yesterday for wearing that shirt. <laughs> I had I had a, a, a roll, roll in the tide, Alabama. <laughs> roll tide! <laughs> One man who, and I eat was something with all burning or all burn or something he was so upset I, it was the only thing that fit me in the gift shop at the airport and at walmart sorry carry on that's okay thank you uh my question is there is a gold, gold coin planted on the ship what is going to happen to that coin captain uh, yes, we uh, we will be sending this coin uh, in the office. We will be sending this coin in the office, like uh, many other things that are here from uh, when the ship was first built, like the bell of the ship and so on. All those things are going to the office that uh, they will uh, probably all display uh, somewhere in the office or they will be sending on uh, on other ships, like we did with the Rolls Royce. I don't know if any one of you was here before. On the promenade, we used to have a Rolls Royce. This one has been sent to the Carnival Celebration. So if you're going to go there, you're going to find this on the Carnival Celebration. We're going to auction off a lot of things that are very special to the ship. We couldn't do the coin because the coin is going to remain for the voyage. So to take it off now, I think, would be considered very unlucky to do that. So it's going to remain. And as the captain said, it's going to be uh, featured uh, either on another ship or somewhere uh, in the office because they are very lucky, right? They're, they're considered to be part of uh, the seagoing tradition, as is for the hotel director to wear the dancers' costumes on the journey <laughs> to Turkey. <laughs> Do we have another question? 
I'll, 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 lift, I'll lift my head up to there after this one. There you go. And next time, come earlier and get a better seat. All right, thank you. <laughs> yes, um, ma'am. My name is June. I'm from outside Atlanta. Um, one, I'll take the Harley Davidson. You can just give that to me. Um, my question is actually not my question. Um, I put a picture of my little duck online, and somebody named Jenny asked me to t ask you what ship you're going to be on next because she wants to get on it. Well, I'm, I'm, you know what? I've got sort of my, that's very kind of you. I, I, I've got my schedule planned, or schedule I should say. I'm going to, my, um, to Finland to collect the celebration and do some work on there and show you the new ship. I'm going on the uh, 26th of this month and then um, on and off the, the celebration. We've got the transatlantic and stuff. Um, and then my next cruise after that will be on Magic with 700 people who have signed up for that one. And uh, then I'm basically going to go, I don't know, so I, I'm not really decided yet, but I'm sure I get to cruise with her. You know what, I honestly, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, I'm most sincerely, if I didn't already have to be on Celebration, which I do, I honestly would be staying here to do that voyage with them. I really would. I mean, they probably don't want me. <laughs> that was one. That was a wonderful testament of help. Yeah, thank you. We would be happy. We would be happy to do that. Grazie, Commandant. Thank you very much. So, thank you so much. And the Harley, just ride her away. There you go. Next question. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Cheek seats. Stand up. <laughs> you used to work for Carnival. Not on this ship. On the celebration. Hello, tell everybody what you did. Guest services. What were you? You were a dancer? With Rand, of course. Wonderful magician, great friend of mine and Casino, all on the celebration. You work with me on the holiday and you've got your old name tag on. I'm so sorry, tell me your name. You're Oz? You're kidding me. You're Oz? No way. I have no idea, I don't remember it. Not a clue. No, I'm joking. Are you really Oz? We worked together on the, on the celebration, and I was assistant bar manager. 1989. Oh my goodness, Oz, what you three, I mean, these are the people, the foundation of the crew members that we have today. Thank you so much. Please, Oz, leave me your, on a bit of paper. Cabin number of guest services, okay? And uh, I'll give you a call, we'll have a cup of tea. Oh my goodness. He worked with a, a magician, I'll be really quick, um, Rand, and this is back on the ship. The finale of Rand's show was where he turned a magician, a, a dancer, into a 360 pound cougar, which lived on the ship, right? And it lived on the sun deck, right? In a, I mean, obviously you couldn't do it now, but in a in a in a cage and and it would it was unbelievable. I mean, people would go up there, you know, for a bit of nighttime. <laughs> I love you. Let us look at the stars together. <laughs> and then this big pair of eyes would come out, <laughs> and there used to be piles of urine all the way down the through people. My goodness, give them a big hand. Thank you so much. Welcome home. The celebration, Oz. Fabulous. I'm, Sorry. I'm pretty sure we still got some cougars on board. <laughs> we do. I saw one of them yesterday, and I know she's married, so she's actually a cheater. <laughs> Cheater! 
Someone's going to have to explain that to the staff chief engineer. He's not laughing at that one. Antonio, a la cheetah, a la... Never mind. Let's crack on. Made my day. Fabulous. So I'm Larry you. from Chattanooga, Tennessee. So from staff captain, outstanding job maintaining this boat. Why are you throwing it away? Yes, the staff captain, why are we selling the ship? That's the question I asked to the captain too, you know. <laughs> We were trying to all chip in and buy it, but you know, it was too expensive for us. Yeah, so, it's, it's a difficult question and, and I don't really have the total answer except, you know, all good things come to an end and new things come with new bells and new whistles and water parks and big screens and all that kind of thing. But it's important to know that a lot of investment is going to continue in this class of ship because we still have Paradise and we still have Carnival Elation and there are no plans to sell those two. Um, but, uh, you know, I totally understand. I walk around here and we're going to miss her very much. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Dawn. I'm from, formerly from New Jersey, but now live in Florida. Um, this is my 27th cruise with Carnival. This was actually my first cruise with my mother back in 1997 on the Ecstasy. And since then, I've been on several times since then over the years. Uh, of course, I lost my mother to COVID two years ago, so she's not with me today. But I want to thank you all for everything you've done over the years with the Carnival, with the ship. The ship is still beautiful. It looks like it's brand new. And my hat's off to you. Um, and thank you for everything. And thank you, John, for everything you've Thank you. About. You know, I, 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 do, I don't want to, to labor the point or, or cause you any more sadness, but um, we think now of COVID as statistics. And for those of you that read my Facebook page, all the people who don't believe that it existed and that it was this and it was that, Behind those statistics are names. And your mum's first name was? Barbara. 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 Barbara is not a statistic. Barbara was the mother of this beautiful lady here. And we must never forget that. Thank you. My name is Bob. I'm from, from London, Kentucky. From where in Kentucky? London. <laughs> Did you? I didn't know that. There's a London in Kentucky. Yes, sir. Wow. And we sound exactly alike, don't we? There, we're just like looking in a mirror. Is there any plans to get some smaller ships that can go under the bridges in Jacksonville, Baltimore, and Tampa? Because the more we lose of these ships, the less choices Carnival is going to be having. Yeah. yeah. Well, the answer is the answer at the moment is we still have um, let's see, Elation, Paradise, Spirit, Pride, Legend, and uh, Miracle. So those ships are still able to. Uh, I, can the Spirit class captain go from Jacksonville? Yes, I did. I, I lose. Um, thought of that. Um, to be honest, no more likelihood of us building smaller ships. You see, to attract new cruisers, which we have to, as much as we love the loyalty that each and every one of you have shown, to attract new people to cruising, we have to offer bells and whistles. And to offer the bells and whistles, we have to build bigger ships. And the profitability of building bigger ships and the numbers that you can get on board. But that's why I think it's important to remember that we have uh, this class of ship. We just added Luminosa and I got to see Luminosa. She is beautiful, really beautiful. She's in Australia now, but she's coming back to do Alaska. And if you want to choose a ship to do Alaska on, I would recommend Luminosa. But there are no plans to say goodbye to Baltimore or Jacksonville or Tampa. We're looking at building a ship of uh, 15,000 tons carrying 80 people uh, for the Cleveland, Ohio market. So that's, uh, that's what we're 
their future. Thank you, sir, but we'll, we'll continue to support those ports. And maybe, maybe if they would, if I don't know if dredging is possible, never say never, uh, because maybe they could dredge, uh, dredge for us uh, to allow bigger ships. Where did we go now? ED, am I okay? You tell me when to stop, okay? Uh, yes, at the back of the side. Hi, John. My Hi. name is Diane. I'm uh, from Nashville, Tennessee. And this is my 75th Carnival cruise, my milestone. And I wanted to say that we, the last time we cruised out of Mobile was on the holiday. We did the last sailing of that. Yes. And there was nothing like this, all the events that are going on. And it was just a little sad. So I really appreciate everything that's going on because it's sad when you lose a ship. It really is. Thank you. Can I, can I just say, can I just say, um, th this is going to sound so patronizing, but hear me, wait till I get to the end before you go, oh, he's talking about himself and how good he is. I don't know if you'll remember about six months ago when I wrote on Facebook that it was going to be the last cruise and that I was going to be there. Lots of you saw that and decided to book. When, we, when I announced that, um, we had less than 100 cabins sold for this last cruise. It was, it was nothing. And then all of you booked, and all of you booked because you felt that it was right to say goodbye to a ship that meant so much to so many people and be part of history. And for that, we are eternally grateful. And thank you so very much for saying goodbye. And I think in our hearts, we'll also be saying goodbye maybe to the fantasy, the inspiration, the fascination and the imagination part of this that we didn't get a chance to do during COVID. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sorry, I didn't remember the lady's name. What was it? Diane. Diane, thank you for that lovely sentiment. Thank you. All right. Hi, I was, I'm Nancy from, originally from New York, and now I live in Virginia Beach near the Norfolk port. I was gonna ask the captain, where was, what is your next ship? Uh, well, uh, after, uh, uh, let's say, November, in November I should be going home in vacation and uh, next ship should be next year, most probably, uh, but it's not sure, will be the Carnival Liberty. Yeah. And, and this one's for John. Um, will you ever sail out of Baltimore or Norfolk with us? Um, I haven't done Baltimore or Norfolk since the restart. I've done them both many, many times. Um, I am definitely putting uh, Norfolk on my schedule for next year. I want to see for myself um, a little thing that maybe we can work and do better on there, but I would hope to sail um, on the magic. And we've got some more dates and more exciting news for Norfolk and for Baltimore for 2024 that we'll be posting uh, very soon. Thank you so much. Finally, I just last one. The enter I'm, I'd be prepared, we'd all be prepared to sit here for another hour, but the entertainment director said no. <laughs> Just so you know. Now what's coming up next? Bingo. Oh. Don't mess with bingo. <laughs> Hello. Hi, John. I love your shirt. I'm the joined. Port of Cleveland welcomes you. They're all, they're all looking at me like a farmer at the opera right now. They have no idea. It's a long story. Thank you. That's made my day. I have to take a picture later. Go ahead. Um, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. And I wanted to get... All right. Okay, stop. So, this guy writes to me on Facebook, very upset, capital letters, that I never mention Cleveland. Carnival's never put a cruise ship there. We treat him and the city with disrespect. What is it about Cleveland that Carnival and I hate so much? So I explained and I said I'd mention Cleveland now and then. Which I do pretty much a hundred times a week. But there are wonderful people that live there like this. I got a few things for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Someone in Ohio thinks I'm awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you, my new teacup. Thank you so much. Pardon? Turn it around, please. Turn it around. I'd rather be in Cleveland. There you go. <laughs> thank you so much. Lorna Dune. Oh, oh shortbread. These are all mine. <laughs> And some tea. Oh, thank you so much for that. Captain, cancel Cozumel. Let's go to Cleveland. <laughs> no. Thank you. All right, we do have to stop. I'm going to do one more thing with the guys here. Um, I just want to show you because I promised the, the gift shop manager I would. Um, um, we will have from Cozumel onwards um, big, if you already bought, they went out too early and the wrong size. So if you already got a little small one, uh, after sailing from Cozumel, if you um, take it up there, they'll give you the, the replacement. But for those of you that haven't got one, the big charts that the captain has signed already, um, I'll be signing them on the uh, last day. Um, they're under $5. Uh, a really wonderful final last voyage chart. You can get them from the photo gallery, which is on deck nine. Um, from after sailing from Cozumel, so go get those from the gift shop. If you spend over $50, they told me, you're gonna get a free cup, this is only in the next two hours. A free mug, which as soon as you pour hot water in, it all lights up as carnival and it says the name of the ship and all that, it's like a magic cup. So you can get that. I'll also be signing the ship, they only have 100 left. And uh, the Carnival XTC ship, which is about $14, because they've gotta get rid of everything. Um, if you buy one of these, you get a free five carat diamond with it as well. No, no you really don't. You don't. And finally, um, the 50th anniversary. Could you open that for me? Because I'm not very good. Uh, they've only got a hundred of these, but they want to get rid of them. These are the whiskey glasses. Uh, they're $60, but if you go in there and mention, um, you say to the, uh, the lady over there, I am a friend of the captain's. Uh, they'll give it to you um, for $26. That's four of these heavyweight uh, crystal glasses because they want to get rid of them all there. That's in the gift shop, that side. Now, we're going to go down the line very quickly. I'll start with you, okay? I want you to, you've got in 10 words or less, right? Your favorite, absolutely favorite part of this ship. Go. Go ahead. The nudie deck. <laughs> what deck? What? The nudie deck? No. I've seen you up there, it's no big thing. <laughs> and to... No, this don't, theater. Don't, 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 just stop I there. Love this it's theater. not worth it. Antonio. <laughs> Antonio. Um, if you could choose to take one thing from this ship with you, what would you take? You could pick anything from on board. Uh, one of the one of the plaque outside the um... the, the, the the plaque. Just take it. Take it. <laughs> take it. <laughs> if you <laughs> we have to do I know we have to do bingo. If you weren't the staff captain of the ship and for the next contract you had to choose a different position that's not on the deck, what position would you like to do? Mm, dancer. <laughs> Why not? Can we put him in the show? Yes. He's a good dancer. He's a good dancer. You can drive the magic bus tonight. <laughs> um, if you had a message to all these people, because a lot of them know you so well, what would you, your message be to say thank you to everyone? We hope to see you all soon again. And thank you for cruising with us. What size dress do you wear? Large. Large, thank you. <laughs> Sammy, in your best Jamaican accent, would you wish all these people a wonderful cruise for me? Oh, but I'll have an airy, airy time on board. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Airy, airy. Come on. I ask my woman, what should I do? No, I can't sing that one. What's your favorite cocktail from the Alchemy Bar? <laughs> You're the bar manager, in case you didn't. Oh, sorry, should I ask the bar manager? 
There are so many cocktails, but uh, spicy chipotle is my favorite. Spicy. What's your favorite, everyone? Cucumber. Good, it's free. <laughs> so, you're the food operations manager. Um, if we were, but obviously you know everything about food. If we were coming to your house in Peru, right? What would you cook for us? What's your favorite? My favorite. Uh, grits. <laughs> grits. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> favorite show on board? Flick. 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 A lot of people like that one. And finally, what's a better country, Bulgaria or Macedonia? Oh, both of the countries are good. <laughs> Diplomacy! All right. Watch out, watch out. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Right by the environmental officer, that wasn't good, was it? Um, I did a little uh, um, Thank you for this. The gentleman who gave me this coin, uh, did you, are you the one that made these? I get confused. No, you, you've just given, this is a coin and I'm going to be Thank you so much. This we'll, we'll auction this off for St. Jude. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, um, the people behind me have been the life and soul of this ship for many weeks and many months. And some of them are taking her on a final journey to Turkey. And for the next four days, they're going to do everything they possibly can to continue the fun and make sure that you have the very best of times. I'm going to ask this lady and gentlemen to stand, if you would be so kind. And as they do, I hope you will recognize them in the usual way and say thank you to your team here on board and next to see. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Bingo is coming up next. Don't go anywhere. B-I-N-G-O.